Members of the National Assembly have defended the Parliamentary Service Bill 2018 and denied claims that it is intended to increase their pay perks. The MPs, in a scathing attack on the media and critics of the bill, argued that all they were doing was to pass a law to enable the proper functioning of the Parliamentary Service Commission. In yet another standoff between the two chambers of parliament, Majority Leader Adan Duale claimed to be privy to discussions among senators and their clerk uh, who are opposed to the bill. The bill will be passed before Thursday when MPs break for Christmas recess. If this house was selfish the way they want to say, you could have passed this bill, Mr. Speaker, a long time ago. Sisi tunasema tungependa tupewe pesa tulipiwe mahali ambako tunaishi. Kwa kizungu tunaita house allowance. In fact, all the time we see house of greed. House of greed. Mr. Speaker, sometimes I'm told I'm a house of greed for receiving mortgage. Sometimes I've not even taken that mortgage. Because mortgage is optional. You cannot force me with a loan if I don't want it. And mortgage is a loan. I can take it, I cannot take it. In fact, this is one of the worst mortgages in this country, apart from the interest rate. If we were to vary our salaries, our packs and allowances in any way, we shall not benefit from that variance. It will only benefit the next parliament after 2022. <laughs> Why can this country for a minute let us have a discussion yeah. on the salaries of everybody. Let us discuss how a judge, what a judge earns, what a minister earns, what, are the, what a PS earns. Mr. Yeah. Speaker, and the allowances. I got access to a forum of senators. Yeah. You know, their discussion. Oh. And what they are saying about this bill. Speaker, a clerk or anybody cannot fight a bill before the house. Staff cannot buy, cannot fight. You will never hear people discussing what a cabinet secretary earns, the number of vehicles they use, the number of staff they have. And you never, never, ever have sympathy to your opponent, the person who wants to destroy you. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we should forgive the head of state, the president, and the uh, barber, because they were mis misinformed and misguided. There's nothing, there's no provision about, uh, I've seen people talking about five-star hotel, I don't know where. where? Yeah, <laughs> they say in the restaurant here. <laughs> well, but there's no, members don't eat for free, they pay. So, so if, if members want to pay more and better service, is that a crime? I mean, surely. All right, let's see what happens Thursday.